Fuck free speech, bitches! Fuck free speech, bitches! A clear political fucking message right here. Look at that. That's just beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> Fucking beautiful. Berkeley yet again demonstrates that it's the hotbed of the anti-free speech movement. Berkeley wants the hotbed of the free speech movement. Berkeley wants embracing the civil rights movement. The anti-war movement. Women's liberation movement. Is now about as anti-liberal as it can possibly be. And of course, yet again, they attacked weak people, elderly people. I would not at all be surprised if we find out they attack people of color, immigrants, and so on. These people are just fascists who have failed to gain enough power to actually be fascists. They're nothing but failed fascists. If you know my channel, then you would know that normally what I would do is spend about two or three weeks studying these things, researching and putting together a very detailed video, making some music for it, and then put out the video long after everybody's lost interest and forgotten about the story. Well, not this time. I want to get this out today, so it's going to be a little rough. This incident and others took place yesterday, March 4th, at Berkeley, California. But guess what, folks? Some people are starting to arm themselves and fight back, you fucking bourgeoisie pussies. <laughs> so run and wet your pants, you little soft, pampered, middle-class, anti-liberal, anti-social, injustice warriors. These people should be identified, publicly shamed, ostracized, and shunned. Again, I hold firm to the non-aggression principle, in other words, never hit first, but hit back, and hit back harder. Fuck these people. Clear political fucking message right here. Look at that. That's just beautiful, isn't it? Fucking beautiful. Free speech isn't free speech! Woo! Fuck free speech! Yeah, fuck free speech, bitches! Yeah, sit on it. Whoa, and look who it is, Yvette Falarka, domestic terrorist, one of the heads of BAMN by any means necessary, who we've seen in my videos attacking people and calling for other people to attack people, which is not protected under the Constitution. And here she is, not in jail. What the fuck? What is it going to take for you people out there in Berkeley to get this woman in prison? We've all seen her assault people, and she's still teaching school children, high school children, at Martin Luther King Jr. High School of all places. Here's a person that celebrates the message that is the opposite of Martin Luther King Jr. by any means necessary. By any means necessary. In other words, violence who has demonstrated that she does engage in violence, and who calls upon others to engage in violence. Why the fuck is this woman free? Look, I think the fact that this woman is not in jail for her crimes is pretty much a demonstration that the far left is the establishment. At least in certain areas, like Berkeley. And this goes at least all the way up to the mayor. Listen to his excuses for allowing a mob to violate people's civil liberties, allowing people to get beat. It could have um, incited a, a, a more violent reaction from these this small group of people. We've seen that happen in other communities where um, where they respond with violence, not only to the police, but to nonviolent protesters in the crowd. That Unfortunately, I think this incident has given the, the, the conservative right the um the image they wanted no you think so he almost gets it but he doesn't actually get it
Remember in November in Portland, an angry mob terrorized a pregnant woman while the police did nothing. What if somebody had died? What if that pregnant woman in Portland had died? We live in a social, political, and legal climate where a person like this can engage in illegal activities, serious illegal activities, that result in innocent third parties getting hurt and still walk around free as if she's done nothing wrong. This person is an anti-liberal domestic terrorist and a traitor. She encourages school children, teenagers, to engage in domestic terrorism. Since this woman is so antithetical, nay, violent against other people's rights, she has forfeited her own rights. She has no right to be free. Revolution These people were pepper sprayed. Next time we're gonna come out with weapons. Oh! Use milk, don't use water. Milk. Oh. He needs some milk! Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Hey, And there's the communist flag, or more specifically, the flag of the failed USSR state. <laughs> it didn't work, asshole. Communism and socialism will never work because people are corrupt. And if you hand your power over to other people, they're just going to use it against you, idiots. <laughs> Oh, real communism has never been tried. Actually, it's been tried many times, and it's failed many times. Yes, it always turns into something else, like a dictatorship, etc. Because it's particularly vulnerable to such corruption. But notice that in these videos, one cannot see any open display of Antifa or BAMN. Sure, Yvette Flark is there. Sure, many of these people may be Antifa and or BAMN but they're not openly flying their flags. This is interesting to note. I think perhaps this is an indication that these people know that the public opinion has turned so much against them that if they fly their flag openly, people are going to associate them with what they've done in the past, which, as we have seen in my videos, includes attacking elderly people, teenagers, immigrants, neutral parties, the press, women, and so on, all while violating people's right to peaceful assembly and freedom of speech. So I think the lack of open display of Antifa and BAMN symbols is just damage control, it's public relations stuff. And here we see the anarcho-capitalist play. Now don't get these people confused with the anarcho-communists. There's nothing an anarcho-communist hates more than an anarcho-anything else, including anarcho-capitalists. But just so you know, that's what the black and yellow represents. It's anarcho-capitalists, as opposed to black and red, which is anarcho-communists. Anarcho-capitalists, of course, are more individualistic, and anarcho-communists are more collectivist. In other words, not individualistic. They do not believe in personal rights. They only believe in group rights. Whoops, I take it back. There's the Antifa flag right there. Hey, look who it is. It's this guy. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Once again, proving that you can't stop us. That's right, motherfuckers. <laughs> We are marching! 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 We are marching!
you are a coward. You are a coward and you should be embarrassed. You are a coward and you should go home. You are a coward and you should go home. That's the guy who hit me. That's the guy who hit me. Supporters of President Donald Trump came up against a bigger crowd of counter demonstrators. One Trump supporter who found himself surrounded grabbed a bullhorn, then fist flew. <laughs> Early on, the talk was of peace, a brief rally with each side trying to get a message across. The American dream is all but dead. We are here to protect it. We want to make clear that hate speech is not welcome here in Berkeley. At MLK Civic Center Park in Berkeley, there were anarchists too. It quickly turned to screaming and shoving. There were injuries and reports of pepper spray. Oh, that's good. At one point, the sides were separated by a wall, but the tension continued. You can sit here and say, yeah, you, what'd you expect? But, you know, I think there's, there's it, the moment you stop exercising your rights, that's when you lose them. I think their purpose here is to provoke Berkeleyites. The hat of a Trump supporter burned. Police confiscated pipes, bats, and two by fours. And you know, I'm like, is this a WWF 80s match with Hacksaw Jim Duggan, or is this a political rally? While police did make 10 arrests, some questioned their response. It's very slow, tepid. The organizer tweeted to those still in attendance at the march, please disperse and leave. The police betrayed us. But some Trump supporters said the response was fine. It wasn't an easy position to be in. It's hard because then if they do more then they're not gonna allow for this to, to happen and I think that um, dialogue needs to 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 start Okay, folks, I don't want to take too long on this video. I want to get it out actually today. But since new videos of this event are being uploaded by the hour, and this will probably continue for a few days at least, I'll make a follow-up video to this video and I'll release it in a few days and include anything important that isn't included in this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Please click that little bell icon. Please subscribe to me at Minds.com. Go get a Minds.com account. It's like Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook without any of the censorship or bullshit that these three have. Thanks once again to Tabitha, my love. Thanks to all you people. Please share this video everywhere on social media. <laughs>